Yo! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we've come to the Forest of Dean. We're at Cannock Bike Park, but this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I've borrowed Tom's downhill bike and I'm gonna try and hit some downhill trails for the first time today. So we're gonna start off a little bit easier. We're gonna do the easiest trail there is here, which is countdown and then into launch pad. And then we're just gonna step it up and get a bit gnarly. So let's drop in. Right, first trail, here we go. On the downhill bike. Oh my goodness, this is literally, oh, the brakes are so good on this one as well, I forgot. Here we go. Launch pad. Oh my god, this is so quick, this trail is so sick. Around the corner. Oh, it's got so much grip. Yeah. Right around the berm. Okay into the jump section. Here we go. Carry the speed. Oh my God. Super quick. lucked out here and got the easy end of the stick I'm sat on the downhill rig Tom's towing me on the eve and yeah I'm just sitting back and enjoying the ride pretty much so we're gonna get in extra laps and I'll get up to the top even quicker so that's what it's all about the eve right we have well I've been towed to the top Tom's eaved his way up to the top Power and we are going to hit another trail now so far so good the bike feels nice it's nice to have a lot of suspension but obviously the downside is you've got to pedal it and it's difficult where obviously i said before i'm not used to pedaling a bike down a trail it's easy to get the speed back up on the e-bike so definitely takes a bit of getting used to but i'm enjoying it and it works perfect on the downhill trails so we're going to hit the next one up which is called sheep skull and it's a two dot trail so yeah you ready yeah i'm ready let's get let's it get it Huh? Flatland. Fl flatland. Flatland. This is the one. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wowzers. Right, I've got to do my special line now. Okay. Because this is gnarly. And then straight in. Yes. Sweet. That was awesome. Definitely tests the suspension because that's super rooty but i'm so stoked tech down here, yeah it's it? really tech but i'm stoked with that last bit that is so super super steep and it's difficult because there's so many lines and you've got to pick the right one because if you go in the wrong one you end up going off a drop and that's too scary but i'm so happy because the last time i was here i was super scared of that one and i wouldn't do it but straight away yeah, done it right which is good so we're going to drop into the second half right now okay here we go second half of sheep skull dropping in yeah what was that i think that was a rock oh it's so nice to actually i never thought i'd say that it's so nice to go over like roots because <laughs> you can't really feel them very much well, you can, but it's a lot softer than it is on a regular bike. Right, here we go. Yes. Right, get my line, which is here, here, and here. Yes. the top once again and this time i'm going to hit a brand new trail it's called corkscrew it's a 2.1 so it's another gnarlier one that they've got here and yeah on the downhill rig so let's check it out i've put the camera on top of tom's helmet and we're going to change the angle up a little bit so you can see from a different point of view so let's get it Drop it in. Corkscrew, this is quite a gnarly trail. I've just done it for my video. Kind of hit it blind, so I don't really know what was going on it. But Cara's actually ridden this one more than I have. So it'll be interesting to see how she gets on, but not only just gets on with it, but see how she finds it on the DH bike. Because it's got some quite gnarly sections once we get a bit further down. Oh, a little jump. Send it. Hey. Full speed here. Steaming down the trail. There's a few jumps. Yes. She's gone around the drops. Oh, she's gone a complete different way. Oh, 
That's a different approach at the end there, wasn't it? That's sick. That was my line that I take because it is a pretty gnarly trail and those drops are pretty gnarly as well. So there is a different line you can take, which is the one I've done. So. I didn't even know that was there. Yeah. Should we go down the second bit? Yeah, the second half is just up here. So let's Lead go. the way. We'll do it all in one clip. Okay, here we go. No cutting in this one. No. So when car is blowing off, you'll... Uh... Tease in this one. Hey? Only cut in, ready? Yeah. Here we go, jumping in. Steep. It's quite dark. Dark in here. Proper DH in the woods, isn't it? Yeah, right, I need to remember the line. Go for it, you remember it. Well, oh, you took the high line. I'm watching. Whoa, this is that's a rampage line. How's that? Nice. What line's this now? Yeah! Woo! Nice! That was sick. We come to the end of the trail, which is sick. Nice, good job. Nice one, thanks. What an awesome day. Like this bike is insane to ride on some proper downhill trails. It's the first time I've actually used it on what it's actually meant for. And it's been sick. Like to have all this suspension is such a treat because you literally don't feel anything and I don't feel like my arms have had a massive workout, which is cool. But obviously the downside, Tom's towing me up. Well, it's not a downside, downside for me yeah, because yeah. I get to sit back and relax, but for Tom, it is. No, but if you is. didn't have the uplift. Yeah, if I didn't have the uplift, like if Tom wasn't able to tow me up, my calf muscles and my ankles would be shot to bits because this uplift is pretty steep. So all round, it's been such a sick day. Love the Forest of Dean, as always, it's been so good. And yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave some comments below, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Nice, ciao.